Hello and welcome to the Financial Times in Seoul. Earlier I spoke to Oyun De, Chairman and Chief Executive of KB Financial Group. It includes Kungmin Bank, South Korea's largest with more than 26 million customers, as well as asset management and life insurance divisions. We spoke about the challenges faced by Korean banks as they eye expansion abroad, the risks presented by South Korea's soaring household debt levels and the growth outlook for Asia's fourth biggest economy. Your bank and several other Korean banks have been expanding in certain other Asian countries. Should we expect to see this accelerating in the years to come? There is a uh, pro and con for making uh, affiliate and branches overseas. Uh, one of the important reasons is that uh, if you look at the growth of total asset of banking sector, uh, Korea has become more as mature industry so that they cannot grow more than real growth, GDP, 4 to 5 percent. So that they just look for somewhere where they can grow further, like uh, Asian country, eh? Indonesia, Malaysia, and even China. That's uh, very important for strategy. But the uh, drawback for going abroad is that I don't think we have comparative advantage compared to even local and the international, multinational banks, because the borrowing cost of Korean banks is higher than CD or HSBC. We are paying around 150 basis points more than those multinational banks. Then we, when we do business in foreign country, we cannot at the better, best position in making competition with those one. For much of the last 10 years or so, Korea was trying to promote itself very much as an international Asian financial hub. That seems to have slowed since the 2008 financial crisis. Do you think that potential is still there? As you know, Korean GDP is uh, 20,000 level. So we try to move into from manufacturing to service sector, including hospital management, tourism, and banking. In that regard, Korean government tried to make uh, banking sector competitive internationally. And if you look at also in terms of uh, uh, bond, uh, Korea is second after that of uh, Japan. Uh, so that a lot of uh, foreign, foreign bankers have interest in doing bond business. Uh, uh, so that uh, we have strong potential because of domestic size of economy and also bond issues in Asia. South Korea has one of the world's highest levels of household debt relative to household income. Do you see this as a potential financial systemic risk? Yes, definitely. Because uh, you know, by having run 30% of indebtedness of uh, household to their income, it is higher compared to other countries. Yes, it is quite dangerous, uh, even for banking sector. One of the benefit or uh, good guidance of Korean regulator has been that, uh, as you know, loan to income ratio has been strongly controlled by government so that we cannot loan more than 60% of their income or uh, value of mortgage. So that still we have room of 30%, unlike the case of United States, where even loan by commercial bank has been higher than the market value of the mortgage, but still we have a cushion. But if the economy is going worse and worse because of international economic slowdown, that will have definitely have impact on Korean commercial bank. We've been hearing a lot of talk in the run-up to the general election about economic democratization. What sort of changes do you think we can expect? Economic democratization is necessary, but nobody knows what is the contents of economic democratization. And also, I don't think uh, those guys are smarter than business person. Uh, it is just uh, populism coming from elections. And then when that is over, by doing good things by those big corporations, the pressure coming from both politicians and government will be reduced to them. But important thing is that also big corporations should change themselves. Could you describe for us the relationship between the Korean banks and the big Korean conglomerates, largely manufacturing groups, that have been 
making so much progress around the world. As you know, Korean economy has been growing and then there have been a lot of Korean multinationals, as I mentioned, like Hyundai, Motor Company, and Samsung, LG, and POSCO. But we, as a banker, cannot provide service to those companies when they do business abroad. Because uh, we, as I mentioned earlier, the funding cost of Korean bank is higher than those of HSBC or Citi or Santander. So that they, they borrow money, not from us, they go to those bankers. And then even in case of, uh, let's say, Samsung Electronics, their credit worthiness is as good as Korean government as well as Korean bankers. So it is cheaper for them to go directly rather than rely on banking sector. And that kind of situation has been created during the process of three decades because those foreign banks have been in Korea and doing business with Korean multinational, at the time, Korean bigger corporations. So when uh, Korean multinational go to Latin American country, then instead of a KB go there providing services, they rely on American banks. So that is a very important reason why Korean commercial bank cannot be expanded as Korean industry did. Mr. Roon, thank you very much for joining us today.